The Journey to the Edge The Long Journey to the Edge For more than four decades, Voyager 2 has drifted steadily outward, ever farther from the comforting warmth of our sun. It has passed the familiar planets of our solar system, one after another, a silent observer in the vast cosmic ocean. It has slipped beyond the icy realm of the Kuiper Belt, moving into territories that once existed only in the imagination of astronomers. It has entered regions of space that, until recently, were purely theoretical, uncharted, unknown, and utterly alien. Launched in 1977, at a time when computers were slower than even the simplest phones we carry today, this small probe was never expected to endure so long. Its mission was ambitious, yet strictly limited. Scientists assumed that one day its instruments would fail. They assumed its batteries would weaken. They assumed its faint signal would fade into the emptiness, lost forever across billions of kilometers. It was supposed to go silent, becoming just another forgotten relic drifting in the void. And yet, Voyager 2 defied every expectation. Even now, decades later, it continues to whisper across the vast, dark emptiness of space. Recently, those whispers were anything but routine. They were startling. They made scientists pause, forcing them to reconsider everything they thought they knew about the boundaries of our cosmic home. Voyager 2 had reached the edge. It had crossed into a completely new realm of existence. And in doing so, it confirmed a truth humanity had long suspected but rarely dared to voice aloud. The edge of our solar system is not a fading blur. It is a wall. And beyond that wall, everything changes. That boundary is called the heliopause. It is the point where the influence of our sun comes to an end. Where the protective solar winds yield to the raw, untamed forces of the galaxy. For decades, astronomers imagined this transition as gentle, soft, almost imperceptible. Like mist dissolving slowly into the wider air. They believed the solar wind would gradually weaken, fading into the background hum of the galaxy. But Voyager 2 shattered those assumptions. The change was not smooth. It was sudden. Almost violent. It was as if the spacecraft had pierced through an invisible cosmic membrane. One moment, it floated inside the protective bubble of the sun. The next, it was thrust into an entirely alien environment, governed by forces humanity had never before encountered. Voyager's sensors recorded sharp spikes in cosmic radiation, some rising by more than 70 percent. Plasma density surged abruptly. Magnetic fields twisted and contorted into patterns that defied expectations. Crossing the heliopause was not drifting into open space. It was stepping through a doorway into a storm. The heliosphere, once thought of as little more than an abstract concept, suddenly revealed itself as something real, something tangible, something alive. Inside, the violent forces of the galaxy are muted and softened, held at bay by the constant outpouring of the sun's wind and magnetic field. Outside, however, the mask is torn away. The galaxy shows its true face. Restless, unpredictable, and dangerous. For the first time, humanity had proof that the solar system is not adrift, unprotected. It is wrapped in a shield. A fragile, delicate bubble that separates us from the turbulence beyond. But this shield is not fixed. Voyager 2's data, together with earlier findings from Voyager 1, revealed that the heliosphere breathes. It expands and contracts in rhythm with the sun's 11-year cycle. When the sun is active, solar winds roar outward. They push the bubble wide, standing firm against the pressures of the galaxy. When the sun quiets, the bubble shrinks inward. Dangerous cosmic radiation creeps closer to Earth. Even more unsettling, the shield is not symmetrical. Galactic winds stretch and distort it. It is pulled into a comet-like shape with a long streaming tail. 
The protection that guards our planet is neither constant nor perfect. It is fragile. And void revelations beyond the heliopause in 2019, after more than 40 years of faithful communication, Voyager 2 suddenly went silent. Its instruments froze. Its transmission ceased. For hours, mission engineers feared the spacecraft had finally succumbed to the cold, merciless emptiness of interstellar space. Then, without warning, it came back. The systems rebooted. The signal returned. The spacecraft had survived. Official reports cited aging hardware and possible software glitches. Yet, buried deep in the technical data were anomalies. Unexplained bursts of particle energy. Spikes in electromagnetic activity. Sudden distortions in the magnetic field recorded just before the blackout. Some scientists suggested something stranger was at play. Perhaps Voyager 2 had passed through an unknown region of space. Perhaps a pocket of highly energized plasma. Perhaps the fading remnant of a distant supernova. Or perhaps something entirely unprecedented. Whatever the cause, Voyager revealed something profound. Interstellar space is not calm. It is alive with activity. Its instruments recorded fluctuations in radiation and plasma density that rose and fell in rhythmic patterns, like storms shifting across a vast cosmic ocean. Waves of high-energy particles swept through in bursts, sometimes linked to known cosmic events, other times appearing without warning. Magnetic fields twisted and jolted unpredictably, as if unseen storms were brewing in the darkness. For the first time, scientists had direct evidence of space weather beyond the solar system. Then came the strangest discovery, magnetic alignment. Scientists had expected the sun's magnetic field and the galaxy's field to collide violently at the heliopause. Instead, they were curiously synchronized. Almost harmonized. As though they had been shaped to fit together perfectly. This raised staggering possibilities. Either the heliosphere spent millions of years sculpting the galactic field into harmony. Or our solar system was born in a region of space already aligned with the sun. If the first is true, our star is far more powerful than we ever imagined. Capable of reshaping the galaxy around it. If the second is true, our cosmic neighborhood is not random. It is ordered. And perhaps it is part of something larger than we can yet comprehend. A whisper began circulating among theorists. What if the heliopause is more than a physical boundary? What if it is reactive? Perhaps even watchful? The sudden spikes in radiation, the sharp magnetic shifts, the strange alignment, all hinted that it might function as a cosmic checkpoint, recording or reacting to anything that crosses it. And then consider what Voyager carries, the golden record. A copper disc plated in gold, etched with the sounds of Earth. Greetings in dozens of languages. A carefully drawn star map pointing back to our home. For decades, the record symbolized hope, a message that said, We are here. But if the heliopause is reactive, what does it mean that the first probe to cross it carried a map directly to us? Did we reach out in friendship, or did we reveal a vulnerability? Voyager 2 was never expected to last long enough to confront such questions. Yet here it is. Still drifting. Still sending faint whispers across the dark. It carries not only data, but our voice, our message into a realm we barely understand. It has shown that the solar system is not adrift. It is shielded by a fragile, living boundary. Beyond that boundary lies turbulence. Currents. Storms we are only beginning to measure. The heliosphere is not merely a bubble of plasma. It is a threshold, sharp, dynamic, reactive, alive. Voyager 2 has crossed it. Nearly half a century after its launch, the probe ventures deeper into the unknown. 
It has already revealed the extraordinary. The galaxy beyond is structured, alive, and dangerous. And the question echoes across the silence between stars. Will Voyager 2 remain only an explorer? Or has it, by carrying its golden message across the threshold,